Well, guys, uh, every once in a while I'll get a message from somebody and you'll ask me, you know, to uh, show how I cook par just parmigan. And, you know, we have them fried up and then soup and bottle them up and things like that. But tomorrow for uh, Sunday dinner, I'm going to bake, uh, going to bake some up in the cast iron pot. And so I'll make a video of it. And I got these last spring and I showed in a video how I package them up for uh, what I call line term storage. And you see this one right there. And I get 12 down in those boxes. And the, the bags and the washing them over. Uh, they was time there all night. And then inside every bird I got like the gizzards, the hearts, the wings and the liver and that. Parmican clean there now. And just look at the hearts and gizzards. And this little paw, you know, from uh, for parmigan. And uh, next step I'm going to make some stuffing for them. And uh, we're also, you know, with the parmigan we're going to have salt meat and vegetables and peas pudding. And so right here I got a half a pack of peas in a pudding bag. And salt beef and this right here is salt pork. that one side and then this is the side. And this is the piece with the bone in it. And the day it just wants. That would be enough. Now this is how I'm gonna start off to cook dinner. Uh, peas pudding, salt pork and salt beef. Greased up salt pork, onion, and a little tiny bit of salt beef. Pepper. Just add as much pepper as you like. I like some of pepper. And I also got a small onion. I'm going to add that to our pot over here as well. They help put flavor through the vegetables and that, that goes in later because they'll go in. Make sure your hands is clean. Just gonna mix it all up together here. Alright, I got the stuffing ready. This is one of the parmigan here, and uh, some people actually, you know, put them in the oven and let them dry a little bit before they put the stuffing in because, you know, there's a bit of moisture in there that gets in your stuffing, but you want to you can just, just dry it inside there a little bit, like that. And I got some of the stuffing here. Right there. Okay, in the pot. It looks really good. 
And uh, but that's all the old fashioned stuffing I had. I'm going to stuff the next two now with the uh, stove top. And you can use stove top or stuff and such as well. So I just done it this way just to show. Now, uh, in the cast iron pot like this, in the purge, I used to add a little bit of water, not too much. Now, I've got a couple pieces of salt meat. You don't want to use a whole lot of salt meat. It adds really good flavor, but a lot of salt could come out of it, and you, you don't want your gravy too salty. And right here is the gizzards, hearts, livers, and wings. So I'm just going to, yeah, this is a little tighter fit in the roaster than I thought it was going to be, but so I'm just going to. Jam all those little tidbits down around there somewhere. Just get them down there. Wherever I, wherever they can fit down, they're going down there. That's what I call some nice snug pot. The primary thing, you know, uh, when they're separated too much in a, in, a, in a pot too big for them, they kind of like dry out a bit too much. You keep them snug, you know, to stay moister. And that is a salt pork. This, the grease will render out of this and go down to make the gravy fantastic. And as that browns up too, they'll make the color for your gravy, you know. So, like that. I think I'll get another piece of pork too, I think. And uh, just going to season them now with a bit of salt and pepper. Put these in the oven. Just look at that. Now they're all ready to go in the oven. I'll put the lid on and I'll put the oven on 350 and we'll check on this again in an hour's time. Let's come to a bar and turn the boiler down here a bit now. Oh, it smells good already you know, from the peas starting to cook. And some cabbage. Turn up. Alright, let's look, have a little look at it here now. Okay, to come align nicely. And now I'm going to uh, take the cover off and put it back in the oven like that for a little while now. A little really well. Alright, you brown up there a little bit. I'm going to put the top back on again and put this back in the oven here again now. Add the carrots here now. And uh, we cook a lot of carrots, the kids just love the carrots, so we always cook enough to have leftovers for the next day as well, so. Add the potatoes. Gosh, that's going to be pretty full. <laughs> Look at that right there. Oh. And this is all the tasty little bits and pieces in the bottom of the pot. And add some water to that. Sometimes I boil the water first and add the boiling water, so it's going to cool down a bit. But that's right there. Now I just took the breasts off of uh, a couple here. That's the one there with the old fashioned dressing, and this is the one with the stove top. And lots of times, well, the kids would eat the breasts or whatever, and I'll pick the meat off the legs and, and the rest of it like that. Lots here. We're gonna have some for leftover tomorrow, and the hearts and the wings, and just look how check how nice that gizzard looks right there. Oh, and that there, a bit of dressing that comes off the top of the birds. That is loaded with flavor right there. Get every little piece that's stuck to the sides of the pots in the bottom. Really, 
really add to the flavor of the, the gravy. Yeah, so the gravy is just some flour. This is with some water. Lump of flour in it. Says to up the heavy care if you don't want to have a toothache. bit by bit till you get the thickness that you're after. Another little small bit maybe. Just cut the, the peas pudding bag open, put the peas in a bowl, and if you want, you know, you could add butter to it and mix that butter through it. Makes a real nice texture to it, nice and creamy. If you want, you know, you can add a little bit of pepper as well. I'm just going to stir that up there a bit. Next, just going to pour over this big dish and all the vegetables and salt meat in that. There. So that's the vegetables, cabbage, turnip, carrot, and potatoes, and we get salt meat in it there too, peas, pudding. Over here I have some leftover uh, breadcrumbs, so I made like a dressing and just baked it in a, in a little dish like that. And there's going to be leftovers for tomorrow while we don't eat. It's for today, this is the, the pepper's breast and dressing and stuff. And so next thing we're just going to plate it up here. Oh, you want to say grace? Amen. And I've got to plate it up here. Uh, got my vegetables and peas, pudding and salt meat and dressing, and I got a bit of the breasts and legs and gizzard and wings and stuff. You know, nothing fancy, just just good old hearty grub. Oh, what a scarf this is going to be. Last couple of years, I uh, had quite a few people message me to ask me to do this type of video. So, uh, and just a couple of nights ago, uh, fellow Michael asked again. So, so here it is. Hope you enjoy it. I know we're certainly going to. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And all the best.